literally even just getting comfortable here is a challenge. Hi, good morning TL Travelers and welcome to or welcome back to the TL Travel YouTube channel. For those of you who might be new here, you may not know that we just returned from Costa Rica and that previous to our trip in Costa Rica, I was in a little bit of a fender bender. So no worries, obviously we're all good, but the whiplash is real. And if I've learned anything <laughs> in the last eight weeks or so, it's that travel can really, you know, amplify the issues that your chiropractor seems to have under control. So today we're gonna to be talking about traveling with back and neck pain because obviously, especially in a situation like the one that I'm in where travel is like, the bulk of the job, the work that you do. You can't just put your entire life on hold or change careers completely um, just because you have back and neck pain. I also have a trip coming up to Mexico that I'm going to have to suffer through the travel for, um, for my sister's wedding. So again, when the option is missing your sister's wedding <laughs> or not suffering from neck and back pain, you gotta suffer through it and I'm gonna tell you how. So obviously when you're traveling, especially to destinations where you have more long haul flights, your pain is bound to be amplified, not only by sitting for long periods of time, sitting in the same position, um, but like handling luggage is a struggle. And if you're trying to sleep on your flight, don't even get me started. So I don't necessarily love that I'm gonna start here, but it just, it, it makes the most sense. The number one thing that I'm going to suggest to you guys is to have some medication on hand, whatever that may be. And obviously I'm not a doctor, consult your doctor or grab some over the counter medications, that kind of stuff um, that can help relieve the pain as it comes on or if it comes on. So this isn't me telling you, oh yeah, just pop drugs and you'll be fine. Um, but even just to have them on hand in case you need them and only taking them if you need them is gonna be a huge help because if you're stuck on a say 13 hour flight and nothing else is working, you're gonna wanna have that sort of fail safe on hand to get you through. So with that out of the way, my second tip for you is going to be regarding your luggage. So I've always been an advocate for packing luggage but in this situation, it's even more important for you to think about what you are packing and also get a bag with wheels. And at this point, I'm going to acknowledge that yes, um, I have always been an advocate for the carry-on only travel style. That's generally or usually the way that I travel so that I don't have to worry about luggage. I don't have to worry about it in connecting flights. I don't have to worry about it getting lost, all of those things. However, with the back pain, I can no longer carry all of my luggage on my back. I just can't do it. I tried. <laughs> it is not an option. So having a bag with wheels and checking all of those things so that I don't have to deal with them when I am running through the airport or I don't have to worry about getting them into the overhead bin. <sighs> See, even that hurt. <laughs> but not having to deal with that added weight on your shoulders is going to be a huge help. And if you can get a carry-on style bag that is rolly and fit everything into that, then that would also be an option. But it really all comes down to the type of traveling you're doing, your traveling style and all that kind of stuff, um, whether or not that's gonna be convenient. My third tip is gonna be to bring that added support that you need to be comfortable on the plane and to support your back and your neck. Um, even if you don't have a like airplane pillow that you can bring, bringing something like a scarf or an extra sweater or something that you can roll up and put either around your neck or behind your lower back or both. Um, I did both on my flight to Costa Rica and it made all the difference. I find that I have a hard time rationalizing spending the space or using the space, the limited space that I have for packing to bring a uh, neck pillow, like an actual neck pillow, but I will, yeah, I'll bring like an extra sweater or a scarf and I'll roll that scarf up in the hood of my hoodie um, and then sort of sleep with it like this making sense to you uh, and that works just as well and then I can kind of like mush it around and mold it into whatever position 
I want it to be in and whatever position is going to keep me most comfy. My fourth tip, and this is a big and important one, is to get up and stretch throughout the flight. So especially on those long haul flights when you're sitting in one position the entire time or if you're sleeping part of the time or most of the time, you definitely want to make the effort to get up and stretch, do a little walk up and down the aisle, um, that will really help you out. And if you find that you're in a position where you can't really get out and stretch or you know sometimes you're in that like middle seat of six seats and everybody on all sides of you is asleep and you're just sort of stuck there for <sighs> but if you are for some reason stuck in your seat make sure that you do have a few stretches on hand that you can do while you're just staying seated i find especially with my shoulders and neck just giving it you know a quick one of these guys the like straight up stretch sorry <sighs> I was at my deep tissue massage yesterday and I can barely move, um, but just, you know, loosening those limbs a little bit can go a long way. And if you are really thinking ahead, um, consider stopping by your chiropractor or physio or wherever it is that you go for treatment and letting them know that you're gonna be on a flight and asking them if they can suggest any stretches for you that you can do while you're seated and while you're standing um, that will help alleviate that pain. And then my fifth and final tip is gonna to be to treat it when you arrive. So I know that a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, I was going to the chiropractor, I was doing the heat and the ice, and I was using this biofreeze and all of these ointments and doing this and that, and then I went traveling and then it got worse, but they weren't doing anything to treat their pain while they were gone. And that is a big mistake, especially <laughs> when your pain has been worsened by the stress of travel, you 100% want to treat it when you arrive. And not everybody obviously can bring everything that they use to treat their ailments. Um, I will link a few things down below that I use to make the pain better, make the pain go away. Um, so you can check those out. But something as simple as rolling up a hand towel or a face cloth in your hotel and dampening it and putting it into the fridge or freezer um, or vice versa, like heating it for a minimal amount of time in the microwave. I'm, this is, I want to like start a fire hazard here. So like minimal keep watch don't light your hand towel on fire um but heating or cooling a damp cloth uh, at your hotel and then using that to alternate heat and cold um yeah it's just a way that you can do that while you're traveling that a lot of people don't normally think about but that's gonna be it for me for today. So again, I will link some products in the description below so that you guys can go and check them out if you guys are gonna be traveling somewhere in the coming days, weeks, months, and you are suffering from neck, back, shoulder pain, all of those things. Um, I hope that these tips will really help you out. And if you have a tip that you use for traveling with back and neck pain, I would love for you to leave it in the comments. Not just because like, obviously I'm gonna be in pain for a while longer, unfortunately. So any tips that I can get, I would really, really appreciate. Um, but I'm sure that anybody who is swinging by this video would love to check out some other tips as well. The more the merrier, leave them down below. And yeah, that's gonna be everything. So if you have not already hit the subscribe button, definitely do it. We post new travel content every Thursday and Sunday and we have a trip to Mexico coming up. So I think you guys will be interested to see how that uh, you know plays out on my bod. And until I see you guys in Mexico, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Stay great, travel safe, and I'll see you there. Bye, guys.